the Miss California gay marriage debate explodes. And brand new tonight, Donald Trump, the man who owns the Miss USA pageant, the king of controversy, he's actually coming to the defense of Miss California. This after Miss California spoke at a press conference for an anti-gay marriage group and appeared in their new ad against same-sex marriage. And wait until you hear the shocking results of our Showbiz Tonight poll where we asked if Miss California should lose her crown. Our Showbiz On Call phone lines have just been absolutely slammed with your fired up calls. Joining me tonight in New York, Midwin Charles, who's an attorney for Midwin Charles & Associates. Also in New York, Ben Whittacombe, who's a celebrity editor for Stylist.com. All right, let's begin with Donald Trump's defense of Miss California. In a brand new interview, Trump, who owns the Miss USA pageant, says he doesn't think the beauty queen should lose her crown. Here's what he says, quote, No, I think she should do whatever she wants. A lot of people agree with her. A lot of people don't. Certainly, she's been true to herself. That's how she feels. Midwin, should we at all be surprised that Trump is backing up Miss California? We shouldn't. I mean, just like you said, he owns the Miss USA uh, competition or, or pageant or have you. And so he has a proprietary interest in this. Uh, it's important for him to support her in that regard. And also, it just keeps everyone buzzing about the Miss USA pageant. So it's actually quite spectacular. And we all know that Donald Trump is a wizard at, at publicity and marketing. So, of course, he was going to weigh in on this. Yeah, let's talk about that for a moment. And, and I need to point out, Donald Trump is actually the first person from the pageant side to to actually publicly support Miss California. Ben, we do know how Donald Trump operates. Even though he may deny it, you know he just loves this publicity. AJ, I don't think Donald Trump has ever seen a controversy or a pair of fake breasts paid for by the Miss USA organization <laughs> that he hasn't want to jump right in the middle of. Okay. <laughs> and much as it pains me to agree with this blowhard when he says, you know, Miss California has a right to her opinion and a right to be true to her values, I think the guy has a point. Yeah, but th at the same time, he knows exactly what to say, how to be politically correct, and often how to say a whole lot without saying anything at all. Uh, i got to show you the shocking results of our Showbiz Tonight question of the day. This is what we've been asking on air and online. Anti-gay marriage campaign, does Miss California deserve to lose her crown? And you may find this surprising. A whopping 73% said no, she does not deserve to lose her crown. Only 27% said yes, she should lose it. A lot of outrage has been been directed at Miss California over how vocal she has been in her anti-gay marriage stance. Midwin, are you surprised that so many people are actually supporting her? I'm not. Uh, not particularly because of the views that she's taken, but I think a lot of people understand that she has the First Amendment right to speak her mind. And I think that a lot of people feel that she's kind of getting browbeaten in a way that's a little bit unfair. I mean, we encourage women to speak their minds. And as I had said before on this show, pageants oftentimes are, are often known for objectifying women. And the fact that she has spoken her mind, I think, is a good thing. Do I agree with her position? No. But uh, I think that's one of the reasons why you see so many people supporting her. Yeah, well, it's funny you say, you know, pageants are known for objectifying women and maybe this balances out a little bit, but I don't know, just looking at the screen right here, it still seems like there's a whole lot of that going oh, on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the show is on call. Phone lines, by the way, have been exploding over this whole controversy. So many calls are coming in. Everybody's fired up. We heard from Becky in California. Becky called into show is on call to say Regarding bravo to California, Miss California. I believe that she did a wonderful job not compromising herself as a human being. She kept herself true to herself. If uh, winning the crown means giving up your moral and uh, valued opinion and your freedom of speech, then the crown is not worth it. I think she did an excellent job and she has nothing to be ashamed of and everything to be proud of. All right. Thanks a lot, Becky. I appreciate your call. And, and that really was exactly Donald Trump's point. Ben, do you think that now that Donald has taken Miss California's side, a lot more people will begin to cut her a break where maybe they weren't before. Well, you know, I don't think it'll, Donald's endorsement will have that much difference because, as your poll indicates, people uh, don't disagree that she has a right to her opinion. All the hate from this controversy is coming from what that opinion was. And, you know, there are really two things that are offensive uh, to gay people about Miss California. First, those earrings, what is up with those? <laughs> and second, her opinion that everyone shouldn't have equal rights. So I think that's the central issue. People exactly. are pretty fired up one way or the other on that. There aren't a lot of fence setters, but does she have a right to her opinion? Of course she does. Yeah, I, I have not mentioned this before. People are shocked and out raged over those earrings. We have gotten a couple of calls about that as well. Uh, we did get one call from Curtis in Alabama. He called in a showbiz on call to say that as a gay man, he finds all the drama surrounding Miss California just outrageous. 
And I would like to say that this whole Miss California drama is outrageous. This is not about gay marriage. It's about people trying to take away her constitutional right to speak her mind. I am a gay young man myself and hope to be married someday. And while I do not agree with what she said, I would defend to the death that she has the right to say that. All right, thanks a lot, Curtis. And we are hearing that from so many people. Midwin, I'm going to toss this to you. An interesting thought to ponder here. As explosive as all of this has been so far, if Miss California did lose her crown, if Donald Trump did come in and say, yeah, yank the tiara off her head, do you think the firestorm then would be even bigger than what we're experiencing now? Absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, she's done nothing wrong. Is she violating any rules that Miss California has on the books in terms of speaking her opinion on this issue? I don't know. And if that's the case and she loses her crown, then so be it. But I definitely think you're going to start an entire new controversy if her crown is yanked from her head just yeah. for saying and this. And it, yeah. like, it looks like that's not happening anytime soon, but we'll be no. watching.